My name is Gwen Dyer and I'm the Executive Director of the Avery Humane Society. We have an amazing shelter located in Newland, North Carolina. We're proud to be a no-kill shelter. We have one of the highest adoption rates in the state and we only euthanize when it's medically necessary. We're in a very unique situation here in Avery County in that we're the only county in North Carolina where the county does not provide any funding for any form of animal control services. We take in approximately 300 stray cats and dogs each year. That's about half of our intake population. The other half would be owner surrenders where we find new homes for cats and dogs and those animals could potentially become strays if we weren't here to do that. We're really the only hope for the stray cats and dogs in Avery County. When an animal comes to our shelter, we provide them with food, shelter, medical care, vaccinations, microchips, and a lot of love and attention. We also make sure that every animal that comes to us is spayed or neutered before they leave our shelter. This is very important because if we didn't do that, then the number of animals potentially on the streets of Avery County would increase by thousands each year. We do all of this without any government funding and it creates a very big financial struggle each year. One example of a dog that's come to us in the last year and a half was a dog named Tank. Tank's original owners had, for a variety of reasons, had to find a new home for him. At that time, Tank weighed approximately 115 pounds. They thought that they had found a, a good home for him, but unfortunately it was far from that. The new owners kept Tank tied up to a tree and were starving him. Luckily, some people found Tank and brought him to us. When they first brought Tank to us, he weighed 55 pounds. Um, he didn't look anything like the dog that, that he had once looked like. We didn't know if he was going to make it. His organs were close to failing. There were times that he couldn't even stand up when he tried. What makes Tank's situation even worse is that we have a food bank here at the shelter where we give food to anybody that needs it, no questions asked. There's no reason that any dog or cat should starve to death in Avery County. Amazingly, Tank did recover physically, and not only physically, we were able to find Tank a new home where he's happy and healthy and thriving. Because we don't have animal control in Avery County, it's not surprising that there's been very few times that charges have ever been filed against anybody for animal cruelty or neglect. In the case of Tank, it was very important to our staff that the people who did this to Tank didn't just get away with it. Our shelter manager, she worked diligently to keep records of every detail with Tank. She worked with the sheriff's office to make sure that charges were filed. The good news is, is that the people were found guilty of animal abuse and neglect. The bad news is, is that their only punishment was to pay $410 in court costs. It brings to mind that when people ask a lot of times what it's like to work at an animal shelter, I feel like since I've been here that I've seen the best of people and the worst of people. We see the best in people when they come to adopt dogs and cats from us and give them new homes. And then we see the best of them and how giving they are in their time and their financial resources. We see unbelievable amounts of generosity and kindness from people too. We're so appreciative of everything that everybody does every day to help our shelter. The help we receive on a day in and day out basis. We can't thank everybody enough.